Welcome to e Know How. In this video, I would like to explain what a time constant is, how it is calculated, and uh, how many time constants are required for uh, complete charging or discharging. So let's look at a RC circuit with an R and a C. And then we take the output here, it's V out. We have a switch S1 that's connected to a 1 volt supply, DC supply. This side is ground. So, and let's assume for example, let's take R as 100 kilo ohms. R is 100 kilo ohms, and C is uh, 10 picofarads. So it's just an example. And then we have seen, let's look at the charging of the circuit. At the time t equal to zero, if we close the switch, then V out, or basically V out is nothing but the, the voltage across the capacitor. V out is the voltage one volt multiplied by one minus E power minus T, where T is the time over RC. So, which is, now let's calculate what RC is. So in this case, RC is 100 kilo ohms multiplied by 10 picofarads, which is 10 multiplied by 10 minus 12 that is 10 power 6 multiplied by 10 power minus 12. So which is 10 power minus 6, that is 1 microsecond. Why it is a second? Let's, let's go and look at this one here. So now this V out equation becomes 1 minus, the 1, this is 1, the voltage is 1, I chose 1 volt. So 1 minus e power minus t divided by 1 micro. So now you have t, t is the time in the numerator. So in the denominator is rc, which is 1 micro. So it has the units of time also. So that is 1 micro. And that is what is called the time constant for this rc circuit, the time constant which is also written like tau is one microsecond. So what you can do is basically it's, it's one minus e power minus t by tau, where tau is one microsecond. Now let's see how many time constants are required for charging the capacitor. So let's uh, look at in terms of time constants and uh, calculate what V out would be. So at one time constant, when T is tau, or which is RC basically, or in this case, when T is one microsecond, so we get V out, V out at one TC is one minus E power minus one micro over 1 micro, so it's the same, so it's e power minus 1, so it is 1 minus e power minus 1, which is 1 minus, e power minus 1 works out to be 0 0.367, so which is 0 0.633 volts. So what, what happened is, in if you had a one volt supply and then you have an RC circuit with a time constant of one microsecond. So after one microsecond the capacitor is charged to 0.633 volts out of the total one volt. So now if you go V out, look V out at two time constants, if you calculate which would work out to one minus e power minus two, that would be 
zero point eight six four volts and now you look for v out at three time constants so which will work out to be one minus e power minus three which is around zero point nine five zero three volts so you can go ahead and calculate and you would see these values and then v out at four time constants is one minus e power minus four which is zero point nine eight one seven volts so it's almost close to one volt and v out at five time constants is one minus e power minus five which would work out to 0 0.9933 volts so what we say is we need at least like five time constants for the capacitor to be charged completely so five time constants is what usually people take five time constants or five tau so now for RL circuits so we have seen again if you take a low pass filter uh, formed by an RL circuit so you have an L and you have an R here R and L and uh, so say assume here in this case R is again um, 100 kilo ohms and then L is uh, 100 milli henry so in the RL circuits the time constants TC is L over R why did we get this this is because if you looked at the, the V out while charging or the V not the V out but the V across the the V the V V out would be again similar to let, let me write this one right, one minus e power so again you have a one volt supply here same thing you connected using a switch one volt and so one it would work out to one minus e power minus t l uh, t r over l and then if you take that into the denominator so it is 1 minus e power minus t just leave the t in the numerator so it would be l over r here so we had rc before now it is l over r so if you looked at the voltage across the, the inductor that vl of t would have been v 1 1 is the voltage multiplied by e power minus t over l over r so now for this uh, rc uh, rl circuit tau is l over r so now if you calculate the tau here in this for this example we said it is a 100 milli henry over 100 kilo ohms That is again one microsecond so this is the time constant for uh, the RL circuit